Hi everybody and welcome to this little scratch tutorial in which I'm going to show you how to handle anamorphic footage inside scratch. Let's go ahead and load a couple of anamorphic clips, those guys here, and before I actually load them I want to draw your attention to this drop down here which lets you select the aspect of the files you're going to load. Note that this setting only applies if the clips do not have any metadata that could tell Scratch the aspect ratio of the clip. Here we're going to load some QuickTime files from the Area Alexa, and those indeed do not carry this kind of metadata. Let's say those are 4 to 3 aspect. You can select that here and then load the clips. And I can already see, well, that. Oh, surprise, surprise, I made a mistake. Well, that, that doesn't look too well. We need to change the aspect, obviously. So, whilst inside the player, uh, we can swipe to the right and bring up the metadata stack where we can select another aspect for this clip. Let's try two to one aspect. Hmm, that looks about right, actually. Okay. How about all the other clips? Well, we could go through our construct one by one, but, well, uh, especially with bigger projects, this would be a tedious process. So, let's go back to the construct, and let me show you a different way on how to change the aspect for multiple clips. I'm going to select them all, Control A or Command A, and go to the media browser, base tab, and here you can set the aspect for multiple clips at once. Let's set it to 2 to 1 for all the clips. Close the media browser, and that looks pretty well. Now that we've told Scratch what our input format is, our input clips, we should tell Scratch what we are going to output or what we want to work in, what our timeline should be. So let's go to outputs and here's our main output node, which basically is our timeline. In order to give our timeline the exact same settings that our clips have, we can just grab one of the clips here from the construct, go to outputs and just drop it onto the main output node and as you can see, now our main output node has the same aspect, the same frame rate, same dimensions, etc. When we go back into the player, right here, we can see that our construct's dimensions now perfectly fit the clip's dimensions, including the 2 to 1 aspect. Alright, there's one other scenario that I'd like to go through and that's actually when we don't want to render images that are 2 to 1 aspect. We want to convert our 2 to 1 footage to simple square footage. Let's set our timeline to be square aspect and go back into our player and now we can see that our footage is actually cropped. Let me just make that visible. Here we go. Alright, so on both sides we, we have a crop here. Let's go to matrix, config, and make sure to select the all button first and then scale to fit width, actually. Now we scale down our footage to fit the square aspect HD construct. And if we are now rendering QuickTime dailies or Avid MXF or whatever from this construct, those will be square aspect and have the footage scaled properly. Alright, so much for the basics of handling anamorphic footage in Scratch. Hope this tutorial was useful to you and see you next time. Bye!